there's no forest here. There's just a bunch of trees. Howdy folks, Croc the Duck Farmer here. I'm hanging out here at Engineer's Forest 3, here at my base, getting some fuels going, standing on my lithium tank, which is getting my tr getting me my tritium. And there in the, the back there is the water being pumped up, converted into heavy water, and then split into deuterium gas and sent off elsewhere. And uh, you can see, I, I did a little bit of andesite bordering around here just to, you know, make it look like it was planned or something. And it's been working. It's been working very nicely. I think this is the third batch of the, the lithium I've done, and it's just processing along. Uh, let's go wander off. Oh, you know, yeah, I, I, I went ahead and planted some of these, these trees from the Aether Legacy. And I like the look. I'm just not 100% sure about the particles sparkling around. It's kind of cool. I'm not sure if that's going to kill my frames a bunch, but anyway, let's head on down. Uh, let's go all the way down. Okay, so this is uh, pumping up just fine. In fact, if we take a look at the current amount of uh, energy in here, we're up to 116 gigajoules, which is not really helpful because I do everything in RF. Okay, 46 and two thirds uh, giga RF, which is a lot of RF, but I'm gonna be needing a bunch of that. Uh, okay, so the lithium up above, not lithium, the lithium up above is being converted into tritium and then via the uh, ender tank is coming down to here. I need a rotary decondensator to turn it back from liquid into gas. And then uh, the deuterium, I can't do gas or can't do liquid with that. It, it, I can only do stuff with, with gas. So I'm using the quantum entangle porter to port the gas down here, which is cool. And then it just runs along this series of tanks, all of them full of deuterium. Uh, so I've got plenty of, of that. I, I kind of think this is the slowest of the producing and that's pretty fast, but I don't have a steady supply of that because I have to make a bunch of brine and then reuse re the, uh, the evaporation tower to make the lithium. But I've got a bunch uh, stored up. How much do actually do I have stored up here? Uh, this is almost half full. Well, you know, close enough. It's almost thir uh, 28 uh, million um, millibuckets in there. Uh, this is my power gen, the, the majority of my power gen. Uh, I had it up above and I brought it down. So water being pumped out into the electrolytic separator. It's making tons and tons of hydrogen and the oxygen just getting dumped because I don't care. Well, it makes it breather, breathable down here, which is nice. Uh, then uh, it's getting its power from that quantum entangler porter, and then it's outputting the hydrogen into this tank, which is sending it to here and also through these other tanks to this gas burning generator. And these two gas burning generators are producing about 8K RF each. So that's, that's my major production. Plus I have a little bit with the um, up above the uh, wind generators. Yes, that's that's the thing. So this is running like gangbusters. I decided to get the second gas burning generator just because this is idle. It's not really doing much because the, the burning is its fish. It can handle two. I might, although the way this is set up, I would have to rearrange things or, you know, have multiple of these quantum entangler porters, which is not hard to do. I could I could certainly do it and just have tanks going along and, and each feeding into a quantum entangler porter, but nah. Uh, I want to sit there and get a matrix going right there. So let's stop waffling about and uh, actually get some stuff going here. I guess I could have built it downstairs made some torches. Uh, looking at the stuff I need, I made a recipe for making these, uh, these reactor frames. And frames, if my calculations are correct, which is, you know, a big if, I need 72 of these. Where's my uh, notes? Yes, 72. So let's go ahead and make those. And done. Well, let's see. <laughs> okay, not done. What do you need to do? Oh, it's got to make those bits. Okay, well, as as soon as all those are made, ching 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 ching, it's got to do one. Boom 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 boom. Okay, so away we go. All done. Now, I need to sit there and make a controller, which is this bad boy right here. Ooh, I don't think I have any of these ultimates. Let's see. I am missing the ultimate. What was the center? Oh, just a basic gas tank. Well. Pfft. 
Okay, fine. Let's toss that in there. And I need to make two of these ultimates. Really? Really? Okay, let's make an elite. Oh, fine. <laughs> See, I would love to be able to, to go back, but it... Okay, so I need to make these ultimate control circuits. Do I have anything or elites? Uh, circuit. Ooh, I do have ultimates. Okay, I need two of these. Make them. So make, 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 make. They're all available. Cool. That should be sufficient. <laughs> make. And there's my controller. So I need one of those. I also need some reactor ports. These are the reactor ports. Oh, I need another one of those ultimates. And I need two of those. So ultimate. And let's make just one of those. Done. And that will make my two reactor ports. Uh, one is for the tritium and one is for the deuterium. So those are those two. Uh, then I also need uh, one of these laser focus matrices for stuff to from flying through. And that actually makes two, which I don't need, but I just need one. But I need reactor glass for that. And for that, I need these frames with some glass. And easily done. In fact, let's dump that into there. Make one of these. Boom, we've got that done. And um, so let's see. The reactor frames, yeah. The the controller, yeah. The ports, the glass. That is it as far as the reactor is concerned. So let's get the uh, all the rest of these guys. Okay, let's head on downstairs. And let's set this bad boy up. Now, if I remember correctly, what we need is the bottom layer to look like this. So there's the, the bottom layer. Now the t next layer is here, like this, and then boom, 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 and like that. And I I'm not 100% sure if, if I were to fill in these areas with some junk block, if that would make a, a problem or something. I don't know. Uh, let's see. I want my two ports, reactor ports. Let's go ahead and put them here and here, because and let's oh oh yes and uh, my laser focus i'm gonna put that here so the lasers can come in pew pew and let's go ahead and set up the rest of this layer oh wait a second wait a second wait a second i need i need something else i need to output no that's the logic reactor frame Oh, oh, I need one more of these reactor ports because I need to to output some power here. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, so I think I'm already missed my counting. All right, so I will put that in next. Uh, then I need this and this. There's going to be a piece there which won't be there for right now. Uh, da, da. And then up here at the top... This goes like this, and like this. Yeah, so I'm missing, oh, I need a, uh, the controller goes here, so obviously I have uh, miscounted uh, one, two, three, four. Obviously I've miscounted four. So let's go ahead and make those things because I cannot math. Okay, so let's make four more of these reactor frames. I think I need more than that. So let's just make those to begin with. And I need to make some more of these reactor ports. So that means I need another ultimate circuit. So, okay. Circuit. Circuit. Make one of you. And then that's going to use all my frames. So I need to go ahead and make another four. Uh... Well, I, I can only make them in batches of four, so might as well start that. Already, you go there, there, there. Redstone goes away. Circuit here. There's some more reactor ports. Cool. And we are done with that. I've got this and this. No. What happened to the rest of my uh, frames? There they are. All right, I've got more frames than I need now, but that's okay. So this 
Let's take one of these reactor ports, put it right here. And if I shift click, that's now an eject. All right, so this will output my power and it's right next to my induction casing. So that will, I think, unlimitedly go in. Ta-da, there we got the sparkles to show that it is fully set up and it's empty in there. And I could make some glass. Uh, glass can only go in these four pieces, which is a shame because I'd like to have more to be able to see it, but we'll, we'll just do without the glass. And here, there's no heat, there's no fuel. Uh, deuterium and tritium will go into here and then combine into fuel and burn. Uh, edit rate. This, statistic-wise, air-cooled, which is what I'm going to go with, uh, I need a minimum injection rate of 2, which will give me an ignition temperature of that, a plasma temperature of this, and 0 RF? Oh, come on, that's, that, that's silly. Uh, so let's go back and let's say an injection rate of 2, and enter. Does that give us, okay, because <laughs> I was going to say, why are you doing no? So this should give us 200 uh, KRF a tick uh, with that. And we can up the injection rate based on how much fuel I've got. Uh, since we've got the, the, these things set up, let's uh, configure these. So let's get rid of you and let's take this. Since I've got a huge number of these tanks, uh, what's the best way to get these set up. Let's, let's do the deuterium here and put one there. They're both facing the wrong way. So let's go ahead and go shift boink. So that now f goes in. And if we take a look here at the fuel, deuterium, nicely done. All right. And now comes the question of, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of these tanks. So let's go ahead and set them up. Let's see, this, let's put like that. Let's go ahead and just grab all these guys. And we'll stair step them so they feed each other. And that should work out nicely. Okay, kind of have them all facing the same direction because why not? Oh wait, shift, click. Okay, that's doing it. Um, let's just go. Eh, eh. Okay, you're being obnoxious. And why did you disappear? It's that same bug. There it is. Me no likey that bug. Okay, that one and a little higher. That one, and we need another tank. And the, the, oh, come on, scroll. There we go. Yeah, you, you'd assume I've never done Minecraft before with the, the difficulty I'm having with controls here, but I can do it. I can do it. And uh, I am missing one of these tanks somewhere. There it is. It finally appeared in my hand. Okay, and we need the quantum entangler porter. Let's face it this direction. So right now they're all forwarding that way, which is not bad, but these are fairly fast. So let's take this configurator, go to gases, and it's outputting. Let's have it output down and then turn off everything else. So this is outputting down to that tank. And then I'm going to edit this tank to go into here, which it should be doing by default. Yep outputting through the front and then this one is going to output up up front down down front and then out see so you don't need to see that I'll, I'll edit that uh, off screen and then this I need to make a another tank to go here and then make a rotary decondensator which will turn this fluid into the the gas and then that will feed it in and we should have both gases working here so let me make those bits, uh, configure these, and I'll be right back. So that seems to be filling up pretty dang fast, and that's the, the benefit of having the liquid and just deconcentrating it into a gas. It goes pretty fast, and I think that's far faster than what I generate, so I'm okay with this. I think that'll work just fine, and if we come up here and take a look, uh, Fuel-wise, we've got both the tritium and the deuterium, and we're good. It'll inject in there just fine. We could inject a DT fuel of itself, but nah. And uh, I do need this little 
doohickey to uh, to actually prime it to start it off. And that's all pumping through, which is fine. So that's working fine. Let's let's make the rest of the bits we need. All right. So uh, laser stuff. We need a laser amplifier. Uh, tractor beam. No, we want the amplifier here. A uh, block that can be used to merge, redirect, and amplify laser beams with fine control over when to fire. That's what we're going to do. All right, let's go ahead and that's a bunch of steel, diamond, basic energy cubes. I don't think I've got the cube. Uh, do I have any basics? No, I've got some ultimates, but no basics. I can make one though. So let's make that real quick. Cube done slap that into there there's my amplifier and then I need some lasers pew pew and I was sitting there do I want to make all those sure let's 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 make all right let's let's mentally think uh one three four six that's nine let's do nine for right now because why not Okay, so those, and then I'm not sure if I've got, yeah, I don't have any of the energies. Let's go ahead, if we're making nine, then I need 18 of those. And energies, they're being made really quickly. And let's make all, oh, do you really not stack? So many things that do not stack. Okay, so we've got those, and I've got some random blocks here. And then I'm going to need some power. You know, I th let's try this. Let's go ahead and quarant. Let's, let's, make, uh, let's make three of these for right now. All right, they're all craftable. One, two, three. And again, these don't stack either. <laughs> Of course they don't. All right, so let's see what we need to do here to get this going. Nope, oh, can't go any further down. Uh, I need some random junk blocks. Will this break my thing? I do not know. Let's see. I need one more junk block here. That is where I'm going to put my laser pew pew. And I need a block behind it. Okay, so let's go ahead and anchor the amplifier right there. Because that red points to yourself when you set that up. Oh, I need to make, I I need to make at least two more. Uh, okay, because because here's here's the thought uh, that I'm having. If I go ahead and go, uh, I need three blocks. Instead of using that, let's go ahead and just grab some random junk blocks from someplace. If I go dink dunk and dank. Then I can break these, grab a laser, pew pew, and put that there. Yep, so that's facing in. Uh, I've got space, space. I'm going to have a problem with lasers over there. No matter, let's pretend like I planned for that. And let's go uh, break that. And we'll go block, block, and fall down. <laughs> let's go ahead and put the those there I guess I could put the lasers a little bit closer orient yourself come on behave there like that now uh, do I happen to have a lever I do not let's click on this there's no power in here Max two gig. Oh, okay. I'm gonna need something on the orders of uh, 600 to 800 RF uh, to be able to fire this off. So I'm gonna set this up so that it will fire on a high signal. And let's uh, run up real quick and grab ourselves a lever. Do I have any? I got a lever. Yay! Okay. It's the small things in life that make you really happy. Come on. I'm gonna move over to here. Um, you know, it, it kind of bugs me. Let's 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 uh, go with some operational safety here and put the lasers much much closer. Uh, because we can break this, take this laser, put it there, and now I'm not walking in the the laser beam. Oh no, wait! I I wanted two blocks here, so I could break that. Put the laser here, 
you. Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't you know I want to point you down? Why are you not working there? And then so we can put one here and laser again. Doink! Right there. Okay, so now these guys obviously are need to have power, and that's why we have the quantum entangle porter. So let's go ahead and put you here, and let's set you to be out and energy. We want to out everywhere and power. And you can see there's the laser shooting in there. And it is feeding it power slowly, <laughs> very slowly. Uh, let's go ahead and whoops, click one of you there and put you one there. And I'm hoping, but I'm not uh, completely sure that um, this will, did I get all of the sides? I did, okay. I'm hoping that this will shoot more power in than, than I'm ex really thinking it will because uh, these each have a, a 20K each that it can do. So how's it going? Oh, it's going pretty, pretty fast. Okay, let's check over here and out. Really? That's got, it's, it's gotta be, that's gotta be a bad numbers unless that, huh? Because it looks like they, they will accept or send in and out 20K uh, RF a, a, a tick, which, you know, if I've got multiples here, it would be nice if it did more. But if, if we're only doing eight, then I really don't need separate entangle porters. I can sit there and just do some power cables here and it'd work the same. Uh, let's make two more of these, because let's see, I've got one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, I've got enough for two more. And that way the bottom is free. So uh, let me make two more of these laser amplifiers and uh, come over here so I get a little food. Amplifiers, that's right, I need the basic cubes. So cube, basic, two, you make that. And the rest of these, come on, make them. What are you waiting on? All right, cube, there they are. Okay, one of you, one of you, do you stack? Nothing stacks, of course not. That would be too easy. Okay, so now I can take, oh no, I need blocks again because they have to be facing to me. I guess I could have just put one block there, but anyway, uh, let's go doink and Doink. Okay, so now as I feed lasers into this, it will go ahead and do its thing. All right, so that's, I, I can place the rest of these and make more of these quantum entangle porters. Cause why not? I can make them cheap. I'll, I'll go ahead and do that run, rather than running energy. And if it's still saying that it's only an output of eight, um, um, that seems really st still strange because it should be outputting far more than that as, as I'm, I'm seeing it. Uh, anyway, this needs to have, like I said, 600 to 800 million RF in here, and I've got 20. So this is gonna take some AFK and possibly overnight to make happen. Uh, and what, when, when it's 20 million, I can fire it off. I can just go and that laser will fire through in here and ignite the fusion it's all gone. Uh, so that's not really much. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to in, improve output. Uh, maybe. Oh, yeah. Maybe if I take another one of these quantum entangle porters and put, I'm going to do it. Let's, let's, let's find out really quick if that actually works. Quantum entangle porters. Let's make one. I'm gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's make seven so I can test that thingy. Ah, <gasps> missing those. Well, okay, fine. Let's make some of those. Refined, really, am I that low? Okay, uh, I think I can make those, I can. Go ahead and make me 64. Next. Okay, this is gonna take longer than I thought, so I'll bring you back. Hurry up, make this stuff. 
So there's all the lasers in place, pew pew, and I'm kind of disappointed because these quantum entangleporters have like 20k RF on each side, but I think the bottlenecks are these lasers. They're only pulling like eight each, which is really, really interesting because um, if, if, if I disable, well, let's come over here. I slapped a, another one on here thinking that two outputs would give me 40k RF being pumped out into this network. Uh, no. Uh, so we've got, I think 16k RF is being eaten up by the lasers and 1.8 is by everything else. So if I take a look, break that so that's not doing anything, and take a look back here, it dropped by two. Interesting, that's only 2k. In, in that case, I think what I can do is I can just go ahead and break these and, and use them elsewhere. It's not like they go bad, because I do like to transfer with these, because hello, doing stuff with mechanism. And let's go ahead and put cables like this. And I think this will do just fine. That actually kind of looks kind of cool. <laughs> okay, so uh, those are working. Uh, let's see, power-wise, holy cow, that's actually more out. Oh, that's that's really interesting. I, I wonder, well, no, see, those are giving out lasers. Uh, let's do this. That's not what I was wanting to do. Let's go here and another guy here. Uh, can't, oh, I, I'm missing cables. Boink, let's stick one there. Let's pull this one out and stick one there. So that, that should be powering up. Eh, it doesn't look like it's got any power going in this one. Oh, uh, your public, uh, it's, oh, eject on. <laughs> All right, so maybe that was why it was less. Okay, so yeah, it looks like it was just one of these was turned off. So are you off? No, yeah, you're, you're ejecting. Okay, I, I think I like having the center one not be a cable and be a one of these quantum entangle porters. I think I like that better just because, you know, it looks like thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So... It, it looks like these lasers are, are what's the drawback as far as power. And that's okay. That's okay. We can we can deal with that uh, later. Uh, actually, you know, all I need to do is just ignite this. I, I don't need to use this ever again as long as this is running. Uh, speaking of which, how much power do we have in there? Two! <laughs> I have two giga RF in here. Out of... Is that two? Oh, no, no. This is the max that holds. We have 242. So I am... I'm going to go to 800. So I'm a quarter of the way. A little bit more than a quarter of the way there. That's a heck of a lot faster than I thought. But that's pretty cool. Okay, so uh, let's make the whatchamajigger to trigger the fuel. So for that, we need to go upstairs. And let's go to here. And what we're looking for... We've got the focus and that in place. We need the whole rum whole rum uh, close enough whole realm all right so for this i need four of these crushed golds and some it doesn't say how much let's go ahead and pretend that i'm going to need uh two of these let's see what my gold yeah i've got enough for eight whoop let's try that again there we go eight let's go ahead and make two of these bad boys so you get tossed into the enrichment chamber to make one of those what's it's carbon yep compressed carbons and now over here if i put that and this is that sufficient for two Okay, that's far more than I needed. Uh, let's get six iron. Uh, let's get three iron. One, two, three. And put three iron in there. That will make refined iron, if I remember right. Iron. 
One, two, three. Okay. Oh, there it is. Enriched iron. And if we take those and drop those in, those will make steel. And if we take a look, steel, it just got abs you know absorbed into that stuff. So that's that's the, the way to make steel. Let's triple check, make sure. Yep, that's empty. Okay. So I should have some with an H two of these because you know why do one when you can do two <laughs> i figure you know in case um now i need to get these made uh i need to how do i use this i need to import the dt stuff into here and oh uh, i am drawing a blank as to what do i do here what do i use this Come on. What? Okay, I'm going to have to look this up because I need DT fuel. And for that, I need to do some combining. And it's been so long, I don't remember. So I'm going to have to look it up on the wiki page. Okay, this is what I need. The chemical infuser. And I've made several of those for the, the tier 4 and tier 5 uh, ore processing here. But they're all in use. Like uh, this guy here, chemical infuser. He's got chlorine coming in and hydrogen to make the hydrogen chloride so i'm, I'm not gonna use any of those I, I decided i'd do it new so if i'm gonna do that let's go ahead that's power 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 if only i had power well that does no good so let's go ahead and steal him and plop him uh, let's go ahead and set him he's that but we want to make sure he's out outputty and we'll put the chemical infuser on top and we can put one of these guys in there. Now this needs tritium and uh, deridium. So let's steal these. And hopefully I won't use much, but I'm sure I will. You know, fine. You just go like this. Uh, let's configure you to output there and stop. Oh, okay, it's full. <laughs> Let's configure you to output and stop. And you're also full. Okay, so that's made 10. And that's also made 10. And this is continuing to make... Uh, let me actually... Since I'm gonna make it anyway, there's no way for me to, to pull this stuff out, I think, once it's in. So we'll just make this fuel. Uh, let's take this guy. And we'll put him in here, and then this guy will just, you know, stick there for later use. So we're making some DT fuel, which is not exactly what I needed, but, you know, hey, that's okay. Uh, let's make another tank. And tanks are easy. Uh, wrong tank. Let's go ahead and make one of these tanks. And then you go away, you go away, you go away. And alloy. Calloy. Really? Alloy. There we go. Plenty of these. That'll make the next tier. That should be sufficient for what we're going to be doing. Let's go down. And if I take this and go boink, it should be filling up with the DT fuel. All right. So this way I'm not, you know, actually losing this stuff because that would be bad. Don't want to lose it. Uh, you are tritium. So we're going to go boink there. And you are deuterium. And I'm going to take you, put you back right there. And it's fueling right back up. Uh, this, let's go ahead and set to high so it doesn't output stuff. It's just going to automatically output, which I don't necessarily want. How much? We take this guy while well, that's generating over there. Plop that in place. That's filled up. Hey, give me back my axe right here. All right, and how are we doing here? Still processing. Let's take this fuel of DT fuel, and can I push it in the same slot as the other? Uh, probably not. Do you actually... Stop that. Do you take DT fuel? Oh, nope, it filled it. <laughs> okay. Uh, what I may do is... Oh, 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 oh. Are you really thinking what I'm thinking? 
Uh, reactor. I have an extra one of these. I do. All right, so that tells me. Uh, let's hopefully not lose everything. Cool, I did. Ah, right, nice. Still ejection. Everything perfect. Okay, so let's take this and plop that there. So I, w I was hoping I wouldn't be using this much tritium and deuterium, deuterium, but that's okay. I'm actually making the HD fuel, which also is something that you can pump in there for fuel. And so it's not going to go to waste. I'm going to go ahead and stick that there. Oh, I can actually put this uh, tritium tank in place back again. Doink. And let's set this back to run, back to regular. All right, so that's uh, filled all up. Nice. So deuterium, tritium, and DT fuel. And I know you can burn them all. Beyond that, as, as far as how much and how efficient, and I have no idea. But that tells me that I could take all of this stuff that I've got here, run it through a bunch of these chemical infusers. Are you upgraded? Oh, no wonder this is slow. It has no upgrades. Ah, do I really? What? Yes, let's go ahead and upgrade it. But um, I'll, I'll go ahead and upgrade that uh, off camera. Uh, but I could take all of the stuff and combine it into this DT fuel and use that to fuel and power my reactor. I'm not sure if it's more efficient. I don't know. Let's see what this is doing. Uh, we're about halfway there. Cool. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get upgrades for this so it's faster. And we're just going to wait for the ignition. I just got off the phone with my mother-in-law while waiting for this to generate enough power. And I've got enough. I've got over 800, so that is perfectly great. Uh, let's go ahead and kick this off. Last check, we got this in place, we got the fuel in place, we got an injection rate that at least will kick off, and go! Oh, oh yeah, you can see that swirly thing in there? It is going. Uh, let's check fuel. Oh man, DT is gone. <laughs> uh, statistics, uh, we're doing fine there. Let's look at the heat. Holy hotness. Holy cow. Um, what are you generating temperature-wise? That's not a whole lot uh how are you doing it, oh wow 2.2 million rf a tick <laughs> i thought that with the injection rate of two that it'd be doing k's not millions holy okay it's got to have been the dt fuel all that dt fuel must have burnt really hot so the the temperature's falling down to the normal amount holy cow <laughs> okay so maybe that's one reason why i should have dt fuel uh it is gone uh that is amazing okay uh that is very amazing i ha i had not played with that okay let's stop this I don't need you, I don't need you, and I don't need you. Uh, and then the laser goes away. No. Uh, but this is working, and uh, you can see that in there going, wow, <laughs> that's all. That's the sound it actually makes uh, as it's going bananas. Uh, so th that is fantastic. So this will kick down to a much quieter amount. It's, it's, it's got, oh, we finally come down below the max amount. Uh, so this is going absolutely bananas here. Uh, we're still almost a million RF a tick. <laughs> uh, now, what I've done, I've turned off the making of the deuterium upstairs. And this is all the tritium I've got. And it's doing pretty well. How are you keeping up? Oh, that's keeping up just fine. So this is, uh, let's see, how are we doing... Uh, there's still some upstairs in the, the, the canister. So I'm going to go ahead and crank up the uh, injection rate. Let's do four and see what uh, the statistics says. That's going to be about 400 KRF. And heat-wise, still going down. Uh, let's crank that up to six. See, that's 200, and we're, we're way up there. So let's do six. And if I try to do uh, an even number does or an odd number doesn't so we'll, we'll go ahead and do that 
uh, these are working just fine. Statistics at 600k, uh, it goes up to 300, and I think we'll pretty much stable out at 300. So we're very much at uh, what we do, and that should stabilize too. And this is producing 600k RF. Zoom. So that is plenty of power. That is kicking in like great galloping gangbusters. And um, th I think once the, this is done, as far as the, the fuel is burnt up, I, I probably don't need to fire this off again. If I do, I can produce more power here. But holy cow, is that working just fantastically. And it's cool. And as far as I know, you can't blow this thing up. If I were to crank up the 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 the, the burn rate to a super high amount, uh, I I still think it it, it wouldn't blow things up, because it was doing a million RF, and it was just fine. Six hundred is gonna be a cake, just a cake. Anyway, that works. That's pretty cool. I think that's the second. No, I think this may actually be the very first one that I have built and fired off on my own. I have done plenty of these as a project with, with other players, but never done it solo. And there you go. Fusion power, baby. Fusion power. <laughs> anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here, playing a little Engineer's Forest 3 and getting the power done. And thanks for watching. Bye.